this is a, a beautiful beach here, completely devoid of people, absolutely gorgeous, a very nice, well-developed primary dune dominated by this beach grass, uh, and I'm curious to see what's on the other side of this dune. It might prove it to be interesting. Where I am now is between the primary dune and the secondary dune on Cowrie Beach. And this is a dune slack or a swale. Uh, it's a low area, a depression, where water, the water table comes much closer to the soil surface. So the plants that you see behind me, these plants are actually adapted to a higher water table and some inundation. So you see some very typical marsh plants here. If you look at the soil, what you see is as you're moving into the lowest areas of the swale, it's first very light colored. So the sand on the surface is quite dry, uh, as you see here. But then we, as we move into the swale proper, the elevation decreases because the sand has been blown away. The water table is closer to the soil. And this is where we pick up the plants that are adapted to more flooded conditions. And now if we look at the soil, what you see the soil is black. So as you see, the, the soil here is very moist. It not only contains sand, but it has a lot of organic matter as well from the, uh, uh, the plant production of, of leaves and roots that accumulate over, over time after they die. So this is a completely different habitat than the dune habitat. And so the species are completely different. We have this plant, which is a species of paspalum, which is a flood tolerant grass. That's found here and it dominates the area. We also have this set, which is very common as well in more flooded areas. These plants are not found on the dune. They're only found back here uh, in these low uh, areas, these more moist conditions. God is this is between the secondary dune and the tertiary dune. There's a huge deflation plain, and it looks like it's a it's a place where some salt water may enter. Maybe the water table is down long uh, deep enough, rather, that uh, there is some salt water intrusion. But we'll take a look at these plants and see if they're freshwater or or brackish marsh types of species. This is a tidal channel uh, that probably enters the beach at some point uh, down here. And so it's bringing in salt water in between the, this dune field, this secondary and this tertiary dune. Uh, and uh, there is salt marsh vegetation growing on the sides of this, this tidal.